my scoof controller was used for my cousin and it already went broken. So I got a new one, DualShock 4 controller. With DS4 Windows settings here, these are in my opinion the best dead zones. Put this one as output mode, radio controls and dead zone type radial. Dead zone, first one is 0 0.03, not below or it kind of analog will drift. Max zone, I think this is pretty good, I've been messing out with this at different settings. Under dead zone. 0, max output is default, output curve, do not use this one, this is worse, even though the name can make you think it's better, but linear is better, the best one. Same with right stick, radial dead zone type, 0 0.03, as dead zone, 0 0.99, under dead zone, 0. Everything else is normal, and here from the L2 R2 trigger, put sensitive 10, so it will be very easily to box pop or change the weapon. You don't need to press that much, and output curve as linear and linear as well. And then here's input delay, 0. Point about 5 ms. You can put it from the Overclock the controller from here. I have it right, right here and... You can install the overclocking software for DualShock 3. I have it with USB wired. It's this one. It's filtered, yes, rate 1001 and input delay. You can choose here Instead of default put 1000 and filter on device, then install service and restart or pull out the, of the cable and then do it again. Put it back in and look, now I take it off. It's gone. Now I put it back. It's here. Definitely this one is the controller here as well. And I look at back the controller as wired. Yeah, this is the way you can overclock the controller. This settings, you can close it like this. And yeah, you can see the input delay is really the best possible with this software. And other settings, put from touchpad, output more controls. And Kuro is controls, but I don't never mess with these settings. And here, other settings, emulated controllers, virtual controller settings. Put Xbox 1360. Then it will work as X input on emulator setting. And here is if you use wireless Bluetooth, make sure this is maxed out 1ms. Click apply and save. I have DualShock 4 version 2 controller here. You can See my settings of bat on bat settings. Act input only works if we have the emulator setting as Xbox controller 360. Make sure these thick dead zones of analogs are set to maximum zero. And now we can see it moves very smoothly. Easier to aim with this. If you put this one as DualShock 4. Then you can see the analogs moving differently with the handler as DualShock 4. Look, it doesn't look so smooth the moving, I mean. In my opinion, it, feels, it really feels different and worse. So make sure these are the settings and this is put X input. Here are dead zones maximum to zero. Clearly moving more smoother as you can see. I don't think you can do this with DualShock 3 controller. I took, I recommend you use DualSense or DualShock 3. Ah, uh, 4, sorry. DualShock 4 or DualSense. The trigger there is thresholds 0, no vibration, we don't need that, use that shit. My pressure sensitive button is L, L3 for underarm nading, 20%. Don't, all, all of the buttons are 
normal here. These are in movement in the best settings for the best possible aim with the controller. And I've tried many settings, believe me. DS4 Windows software and using DualShock 4. Remember to put this one from other settings emulator control to Xbox. Then you can use the X input from emulator setting. Of the bat settings. If I click it then um, off the DS4 windows, now I can't use X input. I can use DualShock, but as you can see it's not smooth moving the analog. But if you put X input with DS4 system software, then aiming is clearly better. I promise you that. Look, clearly moves better. I can prove it later if you don't believe me, but I recommend you all of these settings I have here if you wanna go pro on the game. L3, 20% from underarm nades. And that's it. This is also remember to put this one as 1.25. So the, it won't do the running back. So it will just keep running. Left is one, the one. Not right one. Right one stays normal. It's connected right here. So yeah, these are the best possible settings. If you wanna go pro in the game. Overclock and use DS4 Windows software with X input on emulator at setting with dead zones like I showed you and zero here as well.